just got over to the cold. I'm trying to find a hobble hobble to take me up to Highlands Park for sunset. And no one seems to be here who can give me a ride. So I don't know what to do. And it's golden hour. I have like 20 minutes. I cannot get over the Mayan volcano right now. Oh my gosh, I just asked like a random Habo Habo driver if he can just take me up to this park. I'm at Highlands Park to try to capture this volcano for golden hour, but I'm so annoyed right now because my drone will not fly and I really don't know why. I need to fix this somehow. I really do because I refuse to leave here without taking at least a couple of drone shots out here. So I'll figure that out tomorrow, but Currently, my hotel actually said that they're booked right now and I already paid for all my nights here and I don't really know what to do and they told me that they will try to figure something out. They were so, so nice to me, but they said they never got my booking, so my luck and my surprise, I don't know. So try to figure that out first and then, yeah, they said they'll try to accommodate me because I'm alone. <laughs> I just told them I'll be back in an hour because I didn't want to miss this out. Because I only have a couple of days out here. So, it's my first day here in Bacol. So, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm super excited. Like, this volcano right now, I just, I can't get over it. And the clouds are just perfect. And there is a rainbow behind me. Like, what? Ugh, they can't get any better. Oh! Kind of worked out where Highlands Park is only 1.5 kilometers away from my accommodation. But I came to the top here and I saw all these like little shacks and places to eat. So I told my driver to just go and just drop me off, but it came in super clutch. And I'm starving. I barely ate today, so it's good. Oh my god, all these like food shacks make me so happy. <laughs> Entrance fee. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my god, these kind of places just make me so happy. So entrance was 30 pesos. I'm really happy to be here. Honestly, today has been such a tiring day because I've been traveling all day today and a little bit stressful, but I'm really happy to be here. Ah, and we're on top of the mountain. Let's see what shops are here. Hey guys, what's up? Okay, I don't know if I'll get coffee now because then I will not be able to sleep But I'm gonna walk around and I'll say hi again later <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Thank you! I'm so happy right now, oh my god I just took a walk around the area and I just want to see what kind of food that I want to get and I still don't really know but I love this area oh my gosh like your seating area overlooking the volcano this is perfect this was really not on my list of places to see here in the cold I'm so so happy to be here right now wow everything is just perfect I've been standing here for the last 15 to 20 minutes just staring at this volcano it's so wild how, like to see how pointy the top of the volcano is like it's like what oh my god I could really stay here forever but I should probably get food and then find a way to get down because I don't know how to get down but I'll figure that out later <gasps> wait okay it's wild to see just how quickly the clouds also move here too this place is just wild. It's freaking incredible. Do you want me to put it back? Or? No, it's okay. You can leave it like that, yeah? Ah! Pass this area and I found this. Oh my gosh. Reminds me of home. But this is a painting. Yeah. This is not a photo, but I asked who the photographer was because I figured maybe I know them. But, oh, I miss it. I miss it. I, I lived here for a little bit. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally got my food. I got Beagle Express, obviously because we're here in Bacol, and then Dina Daka, which is the crispy pork. But 
I'm gonna put this camera away because I'm really enjoying my time and I just want to just be in the moment here. But it's gonna be another adventure. When I get back to the hotel, I need to figure out if they actually got my booking or not. Um, I need to find a way to get back down from the top of this mountain. But until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> what a crazy day so far. Okay, so as my first official day here in Albi Legaspi, I have been trying to find a motorbike for the whole day and it seems like the entire town doesn't sell any motorbikes at all and the only way to really get around is if you hire someone to take you to a place so I'm walking over to this stand where this guy agreed to take me to two places for golden hour and sunset and he charged me 700 Philippine pesos I actually lowered it from a thousand because I mean it's only 20 minutes away and it seems like a lot <laughs> So I just got here to the stand and we'll wait till he arrives. Hey, Juby is going to be my driver for today. All right, we're going to the lake and the ruins. All right, let's do it. First stop on today's adventure, we got over to Kagsawa Ruins. He said he's going to follow me into the ruins to help me take photos thank you <laughs> um but if when you're here you'll probably be asked if you want to go on an atv ride so that's a popular thing here but for me personally i just want to take photos and the volcano looks so good right now i'm so excited so excited it's my first time seeing it today so let's get the backpack Ugh. oh you also gotta wear your face mask and let's get inside to the ruins oh look at that ah! oh my gosh look at this beauty i can't get over it the clouds move so fast here like literally a minute ago i was able to see the peak and now it's covered and there's quite a bit of amount of people over here but oh my gosh beautiful and this uh dome thing totally significant and definitely makes up the look of the landscape here all right just stayed about an hour at this spot right now to see if the clouds would leave to take photos and the clouds just don't want to leave but i'm just gonna walk around there's kind of like a market area around here which is really nice there's tables here to chill and eat if you're done the views but jovi sorry i thought his name was canon but he thought i was shot with canon so i kept on calling him canon but his name is jovi but Ooh, it's not a lot of nice little, little things here. I might get something. Oh, the sticker. I've been looking for a sticker for so long. I can add this to my collection. I got my goodies. I got a little bag, nuts, a little wallet. Joby has been waiting for me for like an hour, so we're gonna go. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> now we're off to Somlong Lake for sunset. So excited for this. I'm stoked. Wow is all I am going to say. So we just got over to Samlong Lake and crazy. Like I cannot get over these views. The volcano is so maganda. Maganda. <laughs> so beautiful. Very maganda. Very maganda. Oh, my heart. Like it's golden hour and the colors are just starting to pop right behind the volcano. Can't get better than this. Oh, and also to get in for foreigners, it's 100 pesos, just FYI, right under $2. But as of now, I'm actually just trying to find the best spot to set up my tripod for sunset. Even if I cannot fly the drone, it's okay. Oh, there's food. It's okay if I cannot fly the drone, but I just cannot get over this view. And the dome is just so perfectly pointy. <laughs> Thank you.
So officially, I've been able to throw up the R2 in the air. However, now there's no clouds on the volcano. So I'm hoping that in the next 10 minutes or so that a lovely cloud decides to show up because my drone is running out of battery. I'm at 50% left. It's getting a little bit dark and I'm about to hit a restricted zone and I don't want that. And this is the first time I've been able to throw up the drone in a non-restricted zone. So, fingers crossed, but this is so beautiful. I can live here. Alrighty, so officially did it. I threw our top in the air, had no problems at all. Saw the beautiful Mayan volcano over sunset and Jovi is the realest one. Literally took all my photos. Salamat Po. Oh my God, took forever. I told him when I'm traveling with my other photographer friends, we take like four times more time. Really, sometimes we'll stay in a spot for four hours taking photos and videos and we got we stayed at this specific spot here for about an hour. So thank you. You're the realest one. He said tomorrow if I want to go anywhere that he'll just drop me off and then call him when I'm finished. So he doesn't have to wait for me. Oh, but yeah, that was the end of my day, guys. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing later. I think I'm going to try to get food somewhere or probably edit because I need to do that but oh, I absolutely love it here and Bicol. Is this Albi or Bicol? Albi? Are we in Albi right now? Albi? This is Albi? Albi. Yes. I'm absolutely loving Albi. Albi. Honestly, I think this is my favorite town in the Philippines. I really do think so. Yes, of course, every other place that I've gone to has been so beautiful. Love the beaches, but I am just in awe of this volcano right now. And it's erupting. Like all the way up there, you can see the smoke coming up from the top. But yeah. So I'm gonna put this camera away, head back to the hotel, call it a night, and then wake up for sunrise where Alpi's gonna drop me off. <laughs> but I'll see you guys tomorrow.